Hello everyone, how are you doing today? Today I am going to talk to you about how to learn coding because I have seen lots of videos in YouTube as well as articles and blogs where someone is stating that coding is easy, someone states that you know it's easy but you have to follow a path which I am telling you which will make it easy. Well I am here to tell you that neither coding is easy nor it is difficult but coding is an art. Yes, you have heard it right. Coding is an art and it will take same amount of time for you to learn as you will take while learning art. Any art form, pottery, painting, anything you can think of, you know, it is an art. And the best way to learn coding is, I can say based on my own experience, uh, people, you know, I have started coding around 25 years back and that point of time the jobs were not, you know, easily available. So I worked hard, I created a small, small projects, I used to teach people. I went to computer institutes to teach engineering students about computer science. And during that process, I learned a lot. You know, when you need to pass an exam, um, you can mug things up and pass it. But when you need to teach it, you cannot mug and teach it. It's very difficult, you know. You are scared, you want to give a good impression you want to give correct answers and that's the reason that's the precise reason you work hard so that you can answer the questions people might ask you after doing all those things i started my career in a startup and you'll be surprised to know that when i went there and started working you know i was amazed to see that or not amazed i was scared to see that everything i have to do i only have to do talking to customer requirement management writing code writing test building, compiling, creating a package, sending it to customer, everything I have to do. There was no one to help. There is no other team to help or there is no other team to do some, some work. But let me tell you guys, I learned a lot from there. And at that point of time, I understand that programming or software development or coding is an art and you need to understand the complete aspect of it before you can actually learn coding or programming. Let me give you an analogy. Um, you have seen people who are creating portraits of people, right? Have you ever seen any person creating portrait and somebody will create, you know, uh, hair, somebody will create eye and nobody has any idea about other things. For example, the people who are creating hair has no idea about the eyes and the person who is painting eye has no idea about, you know, hairs and other thing. Have you ever seen something like that? Most of the time, there is only one person who does the complete painting, right? Somebody can touch it up, but other person always sees the complete painting, you know? And this is what software development is. This is what programming is. In programming, there is nothing known as piecemeal things. Yes. So you want to just learn one language and want to know all the syntax. This will not make you a good programmer, a great programmer, or even a better programmer. This is not going to make you that. This is going to make you someone who is just in a den without knowing anything that is going on outside. So in software development, whether or not you are working on other things, you need to know everything. I know when you join a company today, it's highly likely that, you know, requirements are managed by someone else. Testing is managed by someone else. Builds and other things are managed by someone else. Even architecture might be managed by someone else. Even though you are not in a position to manage those things, I will highly recommend you to get involved to understand that, to understand the complete picture. This will help you to write the code you are writing in a better way. Think about it just like a you know person or a artist who think about in totality before creating their art, right? So if someone is using stone to carve a painting or something, the person must have visualized everything before using their hammer and nail in the, the rock or whatever that is there in front of him or her. Did you ever realize that before writing any function, you first write it in your brain? Did you ever realize that before running a function, you first run it on your brain before doing it? Because this is an art. This is not maths and science. I can tell you that because in mathematics, whether I am doing 2 plus 2 or you are doing 2 plus 2, both are 4. Newton third law for me is same as for you. But you know, with same set of tools, same set of language, same set of uh, machines and everything, two people can end up writing totally different code. And that's what proves it that coding is an art. 
If you still don't believe me, go ahead and see the Hello World written by multiple people. You can even tell it there that you know this Hello World looks better than this Hello World. That's the definition and criteria of an art. Okay. Now coming back to the answer that you know if you want to learn coding or programming, I would highly recommend you to you know involve in the ecosystem, understand everything, practice it, practice it hard. because this is an art and it will take same amount of time to you um the time you will take to learn any other art and if you are interested in it if it interests you you will learn it faster if it doesn't you will learn it slower so thanks people uh thanks for watching i hope i was able to explain the idea and concept behind this you know learning coding and programming thanks a lot thanks for watching till the next time we meet good day goodbye take care